Hi friends, it's Dyra. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to be installing these Max Full Clip-In extensions on my client. She does have uh, thinner hair, so these clip-ins are perfect for her. And I'm just showing you how it comes. The hair comes in the box and this pamphlet um, describes the hair, how to install it and how to care for it and then um, the hair actually comes in a bag and it is several pieces um, of hair it's kind of weft it's like wefted hair um, well I shouldn't say it's wefted hair it's more like tape in hair but with clips in it so you'll see here in a second the way that is constructed um, I don't know if you've ever seen tape in extensions, but it's kind of like um, like a, a pliable plastic um, that's holding all the hair together, as you can see here. And then it has the clip-ins that you will use to clip onto your hair. So this is my uh, girlfriend, Betty. She's been in several of my videos. I'm installing these in her hair. So here I'm just trying to make sure that her hair matches the extensions because that's a telltale sign um, that you're wearing extensions when it doesn't match. And as you can see, her hair is just slightly a little bit lighter. So what I did was give her a rinse for just a few minutes. Um, it didn't even need to stay in that long because like I said, it was just a slight difference. And of course, I'm using my uh, Love and Health Protect Me Serum because we are about to use heat. We're going to silk press her hair so that we can um, install these clip-ins. So I'm just going to section her hair into three sections so that I can uh, blow dry her hair. Now, like I said earlier, her hair is on the finer side. So I'm able to take a longer, I mean, a bigger chunk of hair from the back. And I'm using uh, my round brush to blow dry her hair. I like using round brush because um, it allows me to hold the hair straighter. And um, so I can blow dry the hair straighter without having to use so much heat and without having to... Um, and get so close to her hair and her scalp. So even though I did take a big chunk and dried it uh, fairly well, with it with out separating the 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 big part I am going through and just dividing it again and making sure that I use my brush to hold some tension to the root so that I can make sure that I get the root as straight as possible I am a firm believer that the blow dry is the most important part of the straightening service you want to get the hair as straight as possible during the blow dry process so that you don't have to add so much heat in the actual silking process. I mean when you're silk pressing really it's it's all the factors. It's the way you shampoo the hair, treat the hair, um, the blow dry and you know every step is important but if you get the hair as straight as possible when you're blow drying um, you should only need as you can see uh, with what I'm doing right now, you'd only need one pass to make sure that the hair gets straight. Uh, there's no reason for you to have to do, you know, three, four, five passes on the same section or parting of hair to get it straight. One is good. Sometimes you might need two, um, but for the most part, when I'm straightening the hair, I do one to straighten. And if I'm going back in to do some kind of curl or wave, then um, I'll go in with a second pass on that. And that is usually on a bigger section. Um, so it's not taking as much heat as it did the first time. 
So this um, flat iron that I'm using here is the Crocs USA, I believe is the website for it. I'm really liking it. Um, I am a, uh, a lover of the Paul Mitchell Neuro flat iron, but I haven't been grabbing it as much ever since I got this one. And the tiny one that I used uh, earlier was one that I purchased on Amazon. It's just the three, is it three eighths or the one eighth? I don't remember the exact size of it. I know it's like really small. Um, I will link it in my Amazon store so that you guys can get it if you're interested in it. Um, I'll make sure to link that um, so that you can grab that one. And as you can see here, as I'm going through and straightening her hair, we are going to have to do a trim. She's been wearing a lot of braids and she used to come um, see me all the time. She used to live in the salon with me. But, you know, our schedules have changed. So she hasn't been able to come through as often as she used to. Um, but I told her she needs to come through more often now. And um, so we can get her hair back on track. So as you can see here, she has a lot of breakage and her ends really need to get trimmed. So today I'm going to trim her hair, but I'm not going to take off as much as I uh, could because I still do want it to blend well with the clippings. So she will be able to blend them herself with uh, no issues. So I am getting rid of the split ends and the breakage, um, but I'm not necessarily making it even. And I am um, notching her hair, meaning I'm not cutting it straight. I'm kind of like um, uh, point cutting it with the end of my shears um, so that, again, it can blend in a little bit better with the um, clip-in extensions. You also want to make sure that when you're trimming a hair, if you have an instance like this where the bottom part is shorter, you always want to go through and make sure that you trim that separately. And as you can see, the rest of her hair just looks thinner because that area is um, has some breakage and is shorter. So it, it had grown down to the length of the rest of her hair. Her hair would be a lot fuller. Um, but, you know, like I said, I didn't want to make it even. I just wanted to go through and get rid of any uh, breakage or split in so that it can stop splitting. So now I'm about to start applying the clip-ins. As you can see, I'm measuring through to see um, which clips I want to put where. And this one, I believe, had three clips in it. Um, I am not starting really low. I'm starting like right behind her ear uh, because as, as you saw her hair at the bottom was shorter so I'm just starting up a little bit higher and I did apply some of the Sebastian uh, shaper I like that hairspray because it holds but it doesn't make the hair stiff so I just applied um, some of that and then I teased the hair a little bit and the reason that I do that is so that the hair uh, the clips can clip into a T section and it will stay up longer without any slippage. Now, um, clippings are good for people who don't want the commitment of having extensions that they have to keep in the hairs, like a sew-in or tape extensions or anything like that. Um, so they, they're simple to uh, put install all you have to do is just uh, clip in these uh, these clips open them stick the hair I mean stick it through the hair and then just close them as you can see these lay really really flat against the scalp um, and because of the way that they are constructed to where it has that that flexible um, glue or silicone I'm not really sure what material that is but it allows the clip to mold around the scalp. So as you can see, I'm doing different kind of uh, partings um, and they're curving 
you know, around her scalp in different ways. And I'm able to use these clippings and still lay them flat against her hair. I mean, against her head. Um, and they are comfortable to wear. You don't you feel any pain or hurt um, with those. Um, the clippings, they... They, even though they're, you know, made of like um, a metal clip, you don't feel them at all. And with these clippings, you're able to create different um, styles. Like she would be able to clip these all going back and then the back going up and wear it into a ponytail. She can do a half up, half down situation with these. Um, it's just a lot of, of ways that you can install these to give you the style that you want. And they come in different clip sizes. Some sizes are longer than others. As you can see, this one here that I'm applying is just two clips. So it'll allow me to fill in this small area right here uh, without um, exposing the extensions. And you see how close I'm getting to her hairline? I'm able to do that because they lay flat and I don't need that much hair to uh, cover the the weft on top. Um, so yeah, I can put them really close to her the perimeter of her hair. Um, and they work well. And as you can see, they're blending in perfectly with her hair, this texture, especially since I silk uh, her hair out. It's really blending in well, and I haven't even uh, applied any heat to the clipping hair yet. As you can see here, I've installed all the pieces and look how wonderful it blends in. Um, she absolutely loved it. She's like, it looks just like it's her own hair. Um, so yeah, if you were going to wear this the same exact way each time and use the same clips in the same area, you could um, cut some angling into it. But since she's going to be playing around with these and wearing them different ways, we didn't cut into them at all. I did, however, put a little bit of a curl in it and not too much. It's not even really a curl. I just wanted to bend the hair a little bit so that when she wraps it, because you can also wrap this um, hair um, with the clippings on like you can wrap it um you just have to be careful with the way that you do it but you can um do a nice uh wrap so that when she brings it back down it still has some body to it so i'm just going through and giving it that quick little bend real quick
So I did use some of my Love and Health um, edge control and then some of my uh, Love and Health shine spray. We got to try to fight humidity always. And then I just used a little bit of the bed head after party just to smooth down any flyaways. And look at this blend, guys. It looks just like her real hair. And like I said, she absolutely loved it. I am going to leave the information for these clip-ins down in the description box below. Um, I think they are perfect, especially for... Um, people who um, have the thinner hair um, where you don't need a whole lot of um, hair or um, you just want to give it a little bit of fullness, maybe a little bit of length and you want something easy and quick because these are, as you saw how long, how well not how long, how quick it was for me to just install those pieces and transform her hair so yeah guys make sure to check the description box down below um, so you know exactly where you can get your own set and as usual please make sure to leave any comments or questions down below I like to get back to everyone um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video